Hi, my name is James Barrington. I'm a PhD student at Cranford University within the Engineering Photonics Centre. I'm partially funded by the Ultra Precision CDT, and the aim of my project is to create the carbon dioxide fibre optics sensor for use in the healthcare assessment. The advantage of using fibre optics are their compact dimensions, their immunity to electromagnetic interference, they can multiplex with other fibre optic devices, and they can be altered to allow for sensing to take place. Normally, light travels through the core of the optical fibre. However, using long period gratings, which are a series of periodic perturbations in the refractive index of the core, you can cause the light to travel from the core into the cladding, which, allow, which can interact with the surrounding environment. To fabricate long period gratings, or LPGs for short, UV radiation is often utilised to create refractive index changes in the fibre. The periodicity of these changes can affect the sensitivity of the fibre to the surrounding environment. As such, I've been working on identifying a suitable period for the carbon dioxide sensor. A quick demonstration will show how LPGs operate. This is a transmission spectrum of an LPG using a broadband light source and a spectrometer. Fabricating LPGs produces attenuation bands at certain wavelengths. These bands appear at wavelengths which satisfy the phase matching equation. LPGs display sensitivity to the refractive index of the material surrounding the fibre, which can be observed by the response of the attenuation bands. Currently, the optical fibre is in air, but upon immersion in water and changing the surrounding refractive index, you can see a large split in the band centred around 900 nanometers. As you can see, LPGs offer an excellent platform for the carbon dioxide sensor. I plan to improve the precision of the device by creating a carbon dioxide sensitive coating which we apply to the optical fibre.